Oh, Jermaine with the block right there on Al Horford and then getting the board himself. We got this one. Oh, yeah. Thon Maker wide open in that corner. Easy. I mean, we have a six foot 11 center who's out here blocking shots, getting rebounds, running the court, and then playmaking for open corner threes. Galaxy Oval, Jermaine O'Neal, all the hype is on this card right now. Everybody's been talking about it. DBG's been calling him Jesus, essentially. Uh, six foot 11, a power forward center, great as a power forward. All right, as a center, seven foot three wingspan. He's got jump shot, 94 on very quick, which is that uh, Colin Sexton, maybe you'd use it on a Robert Pack jumper. Pretty damn solid, let me tell you, especially for a center. I mean, I'll take it. On top of that, he has the quick dribble style, the Allen Iverson signature combo, the Kobe escape, the LeBron cross, and the Scottie Pippen behind the back and the James Harden step back. He does have some pretty athletic dunking and the long at the layup package overall. He should be a pretty damn good card and he is pretty damn cracked at everything. So if you guys are excited, the like button down below. Uh, comment what you guys think and subscribe. But before you fully get the stats, badge is a message from the sponsor of today's video. Buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E-X-C-A-P-A-R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, now we can go ahead and flip Jermaine O'Neal and check out the 99 offense, 99 defense. So, you know, he's a dark matter. <laughs> it's essentially perfect. Um, the guy's literally great at everything besides basketball IQ, and that's literally just to lower his overall from a dark matter to a 98 overall opal. Um, he's insanely good at the post, 94s across the board, 95 driving layup. Dude is an 85 three-point shot with our coach boost that goes to a 90, which is just unreal. 93 uh, midi, 90 driving and standing dunk, and 89 free throw, 95 ball handle. With crazy good passing, so uh, yeah, Jermaine O'Neal is essentially a six foot eleven point guard. Uh, ninety two block, eighty four steal, eighty five perimeter defense, and a ninety two interior, ninety four offensive, ninety five defensive rebounding, ninety one speed, ninety speed ball, ninety one acceleration. He's got a ninety strength and ninety five stamina and an eighty five or eighty seven lateral quickness. His defensive tendencies are godly. Ninety pass interception and all ball steal, a ninety five contest shot with a ninety five block shot, low foul, low hard foul, and low take charge, and then. 21 Hall of Fame badges that make him a perfect power forward. Brick wall, post pink technician, putback boss, ankle breaker, hyper drive, rim protector, quick chain, interceptor, intimidator, post riser, rebound chaser, post move lockdown, back down punisher, downhill, dream shake, handles for days, set shooter, quick first step, unpluckable, bullet passer, and fast twitch. Jermaine O'Neal's a god. Uh, we have 43 gold badges as well, like catch and shoot, corner, difficult shots, fearless, acrobat, drop stepper. We got break starter, lopsy finisher, dimer, pick dodger, box, clamps, hook specialist, Tyler's defender. We got giant slayer, pro touch, slithery finisher, bailout, needle threader, dead eye, sniper, green machine, hot zone hunter, unshippable, ankle braces, limitless takeoff, grace under pressure, floor general as well for our power forward, menace, post playmaker, and last, as always, <laughs> muscle. Uh... It's crazy reading out these stats, because you have to keep in mind, this is a 6'11", power forward center that we're talking about, with some of the best playmaking I've seen on a card, some of the best shooting, some of the best post game I've seen, like, he literally is good at everything. If this guy had a shooting guard, point guard, you know, primary or secondary position, people would be going unreal about how great he is, um, so check the guy out, got him for about 42k, maybe a little bit cheaper, and he made one of the best value, best budget cards, like, in the entire game, pick up Jermaine O'Neal, try him out. Uh, he's looking to be a beast. So, uh, if you guys are excited, the link button down below. Comment what you guys think. Subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. Without further ado, let's hop the gameplay with Galaxy Opal, Jermaine O'Neal. All right, Luka Doncic, Maxwell, Worthy, Isaac, and Samson. It's seeming to be they have uh, increased the, uh, I guess, what is it, the skill ratings or like whatever the hell that you call it out here in a uh, 2k22 it seems like we got a lot of uh sweaties that we're facing every single time which is fine look at jonathan isaac going out there having himself some fun we'll whip this pass right on over i don't think we have limitless spotter so we do have to watch out for that um and this james worthy is definitely a beast um let's have him cut to the basket real quick can we get it no okay <laughs> bad start to the game all right it's not looking uh great to start off but we do have some uh, pretty tough matchups, like I think Jonathan Isaac against Jermaine O'Neal, which is some good defense. There we go. I'm running a super tall squad out here to try to have that defense. And look at Jermaine getting open, catch and shoot, easy greens. I haven't really used jump shot, what is that, I think 94 very much, but it, it seems pretty damn nice from what I've used. There we go, we got Caruso playing some great defense. I don't suspect Jermaine O'Neal's getting a lot of boards uh, this game, but... Uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, with the lineup that we got, everybody is super tall and should be great at rebounding. Look at the drop step by Jermaine. A nice and easy finish right over Cedric Maxwell. Only a three-inch height difference, but Jermaine's a beast inside. 
All right, get that one back to Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, the Scotty behind the back looking a little saucy. Wait for the jump and then get the dunk. Five and one. I mean, he's playing that like point, I guess, center uh, or point power forward kind of role pretty well so far. Okay, leaving Caruso literally wide open to start this game. Uh, interesting, I guess, tactic. And there we go, Jermaine wide open on the catch and shoot. Ooh, it was only a three. I was hoping to be a four, but I will, uh, I'll take it. 10, 10 to 14, still a close game. All right, we got it over half court. Just got to get it um, into Jermaine O'Neal. Try to throw his Jonathan Isaac off just a, a little bit. And we'll get that pass inside. And Eddie Curry's got a nice and easy layup. Uh, Isaac is good, but I feel like he's mainly a perimeter defender. And, ooh, good tip pass right there by Eddie Curry. Oh, oh, I didn't expect that to get... I didn't expect it to go in, which is why I didn't commentate it. But uh, I'll take it. Go, go Jermaine O'Neal. All right, he has a wide open Caruso, which now is a wide open Jermaine for a dunk in the post right now. He's just not playing defense because he kind of knows he's got the, oh, how is it not a steal? He kind of knows he's got the dub in the bag with that uh, Luka uncontestable jumper, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, there we go. A little midi right there for Jermaine O'Neal, 14 points and two. It's a little bit too late for his run to be working. A few, you know, bump steal turnovers kind of let the lead go away, but yeah, it is what it is. He's still playing all right. Oh, 41% contested. The uh, layup by Luca is going right over Jermaine O'Neal. Apparently, um, our guy's defense just ain't like that. Yeah, he's not he's not built uh, for the defense, but let's try to barrel down to the paint. That's not working, so we'll get a little kick out to Mobley and hit the midi. 14-3. and three. It's still not a bad game, but, you know, you can only do so much against Luca. All uh, right, Morant, Harden, George. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, George, Al Horford, and Giannis. That is not the lineup that I was expecting when I saw those names up there on the board. Uh, maybe a bit of an easier one uh, for Jermaine O'Neal to get cooking. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh, I tried to pass it to Jermaine, but turns out he's already got the ball. Oh, yeah, look at him crossing. Oh, yeah, 6'11 centered, making some moves, getting some crosses, and then straight up attacking the basket. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, interesting shot choice right there. And oh, good board right there by the uh, man Jermaine. Wide open on three on the break. Oh, and the, oh, the white is missing. But I've noticed jump shot 94 feels smooth. And I also love his uh, ability to run full court. But uh, the whites do not be going in with his jumper. And oh, good steal by Mobley right there. Uh, let's try this again. Oh, he was leaving us open on that one. A little hot back. Yes, sir. Jermaine. Hey, there we go. Now White's falling five and one. I have to release this jumper earlier than I think I do, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time to get used to. All right, throw that from Caruso right back up to the man Jermaine, and oh, give me a little behind the back. Can we take the three? Nope. Give me a momentum right back to the basket, and Jermaine O'Neal's getting the finish. Basically, this is what Giannis was doing to everybody the last two, three years of my team, and Jermaine O'Neal's doing it now. It just, it, it's a wild time. All right, here we go. Let's put a little pick and pop. I haven't uh, actually done one yet with this uh, Jermaine and Caruso combo. And look at that. Working like a charm. Easy catch and shoot greens. 10 and 1 right now. I think we have an XP challenge for 20 power four points. There it is. Popping a perfect time. You have to try to get that done. And look at Mobley just, I mean, snagging the absolute freer than free pass out there. And now, I'm, oh, wide open. Four pointer? Yeah, okay, okay. That's, uh, that's stretching the range just a little bit for Jermaine with no limitless. Oh, Jermaine with the block right there on Al Horford and then getting the board himself. We got this one. Oh, yeah. Thon Maker wide open in that corner. Easy. I mean, we have a six foot 11 center who's out here blocking shots, getting rebounds, running the court and then playmaking for open corner threes. I, it doesn't get much better than this. There we go. Good board for Eddie Curry. Obviously, we got to give it to our point guard, Jermaine O'Neal. Uh, which is a sentence I never thought that I would say. Look at him crossing people up. And uh, we had a pass up Mobley in the corner that was wide open. But John Morant is reaching on us. I will say we haven't actually got Jermaine O'Neal to the uh, free throw line. So maybe I have to attack the basket just a little bit more to try to get some of those. Let's see what we're doing here, which was actually leaving Mobley wide open. And uh, Don Maker has quite the matchup down there. Oh, Paul George will just throw it down. Another little pass. 10, 2, and 2 with a block so far for Jermaine. There we go, Mobley snagging that one. The super tall lineup has obviously been crazy good on defense. Why are you reaching? Jermaine is out here teaching. And glass cleaner takeover on man's calling a timeout because it is 18 to four. Jermaine, I think, has 13 of those points. 
And yeah, yeah, there's the quit. I mean, it's uh, kind of expected. Jermaine O'Neal feels amazing. I mean, the jumper is a little bit weird, I will say. Uh, it's one of those jumpers that you have to release a little bit earlier than you would think you would have to, which means online sometimes it can be a little bit tricky with, you know, latency delay and stuff like that. But anybody who's good at timing jumpers, you'll get this jumper down perfectly fine. It's great on very quick. And then we have six foot 11 guy who's got that quick dribble style. The Iverson combo is great. We love the Scotty behind the back, especially on a guy who is as tall as he is. The Scotty behind the back just shoots you up so far on the court. Great seven foot three wingspan, so he's still blocking shots and he's still playing great defense like that. The long at the layup package as well with that seven foot three wingspan is just insanely cheesy, which we love to see. All around, this guy's crazy. I mean, again, we're talking about a six foot eleven guy that's a Hall of Fame ankle breaker, bullet passer, downhill, handles for days, hyper drive, quick chain, quick first step, and unpluggable. It is super fun, it is super cheesy, and it's just, I don't know, we're in a basically end game at this point. It is May, and uh, 2K is decided to go crazy. Uh, with some of the cards, or it's almost May, and 2K just had to go crazy with some of these cards. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Jimmy Nolan in the comment section below. I personally think you guys should go out there right now and pick him up. 42K for a card doing what he's doing. Absolutely insane. Like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new as well. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to try to pump out one more gameplay before I have to go to class, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, see y'all in the next one.